What exactly is a stroke? The brain, like all parts of the body, needs oxygen, which it gets from the blood. A stroke happens when blood flow to the brain is cut off. When brain cells are starved of oxygen, they become damaged, and the symptoms that follow are called a stroke. Cerebral palsy is considered a neurodevelopmental disease, meaning that something happens to an area in the brain during its initial development. If that area doesn't develop right, then it can't carry out whatever function it's supposed to control. Spasticity or uh, tone uh, in the context of cerebral palsy uh, takes the form of tightness in the muscles uh, that can interfere with uh, functions such as walking, uh, can cause pain, uh, and can eventually cause orthopedic deformities that result from the brain injury and how that affects what activities the patient can perform. The first type is called spastic cerebral palsy. The first type is called spastic cerebral palsy and is characterized by having really tight or stiff muscles, which can make the patient's movement seem jerky, basically like if the muscles were constantly flexed. Since cerebral palsy involves a permanent abnormality to the brain structure, it's not curable. But that doesn't mean it's not treatable. Neurological diseases and damaging events like strokes are irreversible. But the human brain has 100 billion neurons. Imagine the brain could reboot, updating its withered and damaged cells with new, improved units that can divide, differentiate, and successfully give rise to new neurons in a damaged brain. Neural stem cells, which manufacture new neurons or replace the old ones. We harness that mechanism to get the brain to heal its scars. But the mere presence of a mechanism to grow new neurons in the adult brain opens up an amazing possibility. So the question is, does it work? Go, Jared! Go, Jared! Go, Jared! Go, Go, Jared! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Whoa, look at you go, Jared! Yeah, baby! Beep the horn. Look at Mama. <laughs>